Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're just going to do a brief re recap of what we talked about on Sunday, the squeeze revelation. Amen. This means what, what happens to us when the squeeze is on? What comes out of us? How do we respond? How do we react? When we're being squeezed, that reveals what's inside of us. So we're going to read 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 through 16, the NLT version. Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through, as if something strange was happening to you. Instead, be, be very glad for these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. If you are insulted because you bear the name of Christ, you will be blessed. For the glory spirit of God rests upon you. If you suffer, however, it mustn't be for murder, stealing, making trouble, or prying into other people's affairs. But it is no shame to suffer for being a Christian. Praise God for the privilege of being called by his name. Amen. Then I also want to read Psalm 34 and 19, also in the NLT version. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Amen. Praise God. The word of God lets us know that as Christians, there are going to be things that we're going to have to go through. There are going to be trials that we face. There's going to be tribulations, three times the trouble that we face. But the word of God also lets us know that each time we face a trouble, a trial, a tribulation, God rescues us each time he's there to help us. So listen, here are four things that I want us to remember. And that is, number one, troubles are coming. Troubles are coming, whether it be trouble in your family, in your marriage, whether it be illness in your body, finances, trouble on the job, whatever. Trouble is coming. That's the first thing to remember, that trouble is coming. Then the second thing to remember is that no one is exempt. No one. No one is exempt from troubles. We live in a fallen world. And as such, we're going to get touched by the things that happen in the world because we live in a fallen world. Amen. It rains on the unjust and the just. Amen. The third thing that we've got to remember is that God is an ever-present help. God is an ever-present help. Whenever troubles hit us, when trials hit us, when tribulations hit us, God is there to rescue us each time. Amen? God is an ever-present help. Then the fourth thing that we've got to remember is that he gives us the strength to endure. Amen? So yes, troubles are coming. Yes, no one is exempt. But God is an ever-present help. And then he gives us the strength to endure. As a matter of fact, the story that I shared on Sunday was about the Bengal tiger, how the tiger trainer was saying at the end of this episode that they had had when the lights went out in the big tents. And the reporter was asking this um, tiger trainer, how did you manage to keep him under control? How did you keep your cool when this was going on, when the lights were out under the big tent and the people are scrambling, the people are afraid? And, and the, what the the tiger trainer said was, everybody, just be still. Stay in your seats. Don't move. Just be quiet. And what he did with the tiger was, this is what he told the reporter. He said, I simply kept doing in the dark what I've been doing in the light, cracking the whip and speaking with authority. Amen. So that's what God gives us the strength to do. When troubles, trials, and tribulations hit us, God gives us the strength to keep cracking the whip and speaking with authority. Amen and amen. God bless you.